everyone welcome back to our channel i'm jess and i'm luke and today we are filming our couples q a so we asked for questions on our instagram and tiktok they will be on the screen right now for you guys to ask us questions about anything you wanted and you guys pulled through didn't they luke definitely it looks like we got a lot of questions yes we certainly did and i have them on my phone right here and we are going to get on with answering them. So we hope you enjoy this video. If you do, then please leave a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe for more content with me and Jess. And without further ado, let's get into it. So the first question is actually one that I get pretty much all the time. And it is, are you going to have more kids with Luke? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What Luke? That's one of my most frequently asked questions. Well, actually, guys, I would really like another child in the future. However, Jess doesn't feel the same, do you, Jess? No, I had quite a traumatic birth with Amy, and it's kind of put me off having more babies. Plus, there are a lot of things going on with Amelia at the moment, so we need to take that into consideration. But I think it would be nice for us to have a kid together, Luke. I just kind of don't want to go through it right now, and there's a lot of other things that we need to sort out first. Yeah, but I'd love a baby one day. I think we should see how it goes. At the moment, I'm not keen on going for a pregnancy. And after all, I'm the one that has to carry them. No, that is true. And obviously, guys, I totally respect Jess's decision not to want to go for another pregnancy. And that's totally fine. So basically, to summarise the answer to your question is, personally, I don't want any more babies. I'm not trying to get pregnant. But if I was to fall pregnant, Luke would be super happy and obviously we would keep the baby. Is What is your favourite thing about Luke? Oh, that's sweet. I hope there are lots of your favourite things about me. Well, I'm going to say them, Luke. Although I'd best not say too many, otherwise your head won't fit through that door with your big ego. Hey, that's not true. Yes, it is. Jess! Ah! <laughs> Anyway, guys, my favourite thing about Luke is just how caring he is. If I come in after I've had a bad day, he's always there and he's so loving. He will do anything. He helps out. And he's just so caring towards other people. He always puts other people before himself. And that's my favourite thing about you. Really, Jess? Yes, you've got a really sweet, kind heart. And other people are always at the centre of everything, aren't they? Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Hey. And he's really funny. And as you can tell, we have a lot of fun on and off camera together, don't we? We certainly do, baby. Anyway, let's see what the next one is. Next question is actually about Amelia. And it is, what is happening with her iPhone situation? So basically, guys, if you don't know, Amelia actually got given an iPhone by Ryan for Christmas after I said to Ryan that I didn't want her to have an iPhone because I thought she was too young. So obviously, Ryan gave her this iPhone and now Amelia does actually own an iPhone 13. However, what I've said to Ryan is about this, and he has actually finally agreed with me, is it's best if the iPhone stays at Ryan's house because he bought it for her. And that the iPhone's going to always remain in aeroplane mode so that she can't make calls or text on it. And she's basically going to use it like an iPod. I really think it would have been best for him to have bought her an iPad, but obviously he bought her the phone. And then once she gets older, we will let her use the phone with a SIM card in it and everything like that. So she's basically just using it as an iPod. Yeah, that's probably for the best, Jess. Well, that's what I think, Luke, but don't you think an iPad would have been better? Yeah, I do. Maybe Ryan will take it back and get a refund. Maybe, but I can't see that happening. I don't want to cause more drama. You know what he's like. Yeah, that's true. Next question is, when will Jess meet Luke's daughter? Luke, this is one for you. You haven't even told me this yet, and I'm really intrigued to meet her thing is guys i'm not sure when she's going to want to i've told her that i'm getting engaged to jess and everything she knows about her but i'm just not sure when she's going to want to come down and obviously she does live quite far away so it is up to her mum and everything but she's a teenager and she's just not very interested i mean i send her money and we talk and stuff but 
I just don't know when she's going to want to come down here. Maybe you should try and get her to come to the wedding. I'm trying my best, but she's just not keen on coming down here. She does accept me though, right? Of course, Jess. She said that she's pleased we're engaged. So what is the delay? She just doesn't want to come down here. She's quite shy in person, but I'll try and get her down for the wedding. So I hope that answered your question. It's just basically when she wants to come. The next question is, have you set a date for the wedding? No, guys, we haven't yet, have we, Luke? No, not yet, because we've literally only just got engaged at Christmas and obviously there's been a lot of things kicking off and we're not sure what's going to happen with Maria and Ryan. And obviously there is one more thing that we're going to be doing before we get married, which we're not going to tell you guys about yet, but you will find out very soon because we want everything to be perfect. And then once this thing is done that's coming up, then we can focus on the wedding plans, just can get her dress sorted out which I can't wait to do. I'm definitely going to take Emma wedding dress shopping with me. So I'll vlog some of those wedding preparation videos. And obviously we need to pick out a venue. And who wants to get married in winter? It's better to get married towards spring and summer. That's wedding season, isn't it? Yeah, and we're just going to take it nice and slow. We might even have a long engagement. There's really no rush. We're just taking everything nice and slow and at a steady pace. Is what do you think of how Ryan and Maria's relationship moved on so quickly? By the way, I love your content. Well, thank you so much. And obviously, as you guys would have seen in previous videos, I think Ryan and Maria moved far too quickly. It got really unhealthy and that's why things have become toxic. But I know that Ryan and Maria have both got the types of personalities where they wanted to move along quickly. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. But obviously, that's why... I think things have got as toxic as they have and Ryan really doesn't think before he makes decisions which is one thing I've noticed about Ryan over the many many years I've noticed him and I don't think that the way their relationship moved was very healthy and obviously that's why there's been problems with Amelia not wanting Maria around but I just think they moved too fast and that's why it become toxic. What about you Luke? Yeah I mean I've had experiences with Maria and she falls in love very very hard she's a nice lady though well that that's debatable I mean we don't really agree on Maria I think Maria's quite impulsive and hard to say no to and just really likes her but yeah they just moved too quickly and obviously Amelia didn't react well yeah and that's understandable but I've told Amelia she's got to try harder to be kind to people and not rude but we'll see what happens in the future and obviously I'm quite good friends with Maria now and I want to help her out Mm, I'm not sure she deserves that, you know. I think she does, Luke. I just think, you know what she's like, bless her. It's not her fault. What is the style of your wedding going to be? So I haven't had a lot of time to think about that yet, but we are going for a spring-summer theme. That is all I do know, but as we know more, we will keep you guys updated in future videos. Yeah, so make sure to subscribe. Do you think you will stay with Luke? Yeah, you will, Jess. At least I hope you will. Don't worry, I love you to pieces and we're getting married, so I hope I do. And yes, the plan is to stay with Luke for the rest of my life. Although I said that about Ryan and look what happened. So you never know, but right now I definitely think we will. Don't you, Luke? Yeah, I really hope so. I've never met anyone like you before, Jess. Oh, that's so sweet. And why does Amelia hate her half-brother? I wish her to be a happy big sister. From what we've spoken to Amelia about Elfie, I think the reason she doesn't like him is partly because she's jealous of him and everything just because he's a baby and he gets a lot of attention. And I think part of it is because obviously she doesn't like Maria very much. So then a child that's come from Maria is not really her favourite thing. Yeah, and also maybe she thinks that Maria and Elfie have taken Ryan away from her a bit because she is quite a daddy's girl at heart. And I just think it's a combination of all of those things. But I've told her about her attitude and told her that she does need to try a bit harder to at least be polite to Elfie and Maria when she sees them. Yeah, and that's a fair enough expectation, Jess. Exactly. Here we go, Luke. Question for you. Oh, yay. It says, what are you working as and where? I'm actually a doctor. I work in A&E. 
in my local hospital and I love it. I love helping people and making them feel better, you know. So I'm a doctor, that's my role, that's what I do. And the hospital I work in is just the one nearest to our house. And you're really good at it, aren't you? Oh, thanks Jess, that's kind. You're welcome. What annoys you the most about Ryan? There's so many questions about him coming up in Maria. I know, I think that's because of all the drama that's been happening recently. So basically, guys, I don't have any hate feelings towards Ryan. He doesn't have any towards me. Me and him disagree on a lot of things to do with parenting. But the thing that annoys me the most about him is probably the way he parents the kids. And the fact that he goes behind my back a lot with some of the decisions I make. And then he complains that I don't take responsibility for those decisions. Even though I've already told him that I don't think it's a good idea and don't support him, he'll then go behind my back which really frustrates me so that's probably the thing that annoys me most about ryan and it's always to do with parenting that me and ryan used to fight about because we just have different parenting methods and that's fine i mean everyone has their own parenting style jess i know they do do you think that's why you're a little scared of having a baby with me what do you mean luke because you and ryan fell out about parenting maybe i mean i've not really thought of that as the reason i've always put it down to the physical labour but you've got a point it could be that I think it could be I think as long as you communicate properly it shouldn't be a problem because I'm willing to do whatever you think is best Jess maybe I'm a bit controlling in that way Luke I really don't know but I'm not planning a baby right now I know sweetheart and that's fine so those are all the questions we're going to be answering in today's Q&A. We really hope you enjoyed it. To be involved in more future Q&As, make sure to follow our social medias. And until next time, guys, we'll see you soon. Bye. See you later.